Welcome everyone to the second episode of the Cuomo Road to Glory on FIFA 23. Last episode we finished 6th in the league, did not get promoted. Second round of the cup got knocked out, and obviously in the semifinal knocked out of playoff contention. But we are back better than ever. Coutrone is an absolute star now. Blanco is really starting to prove himself. Fabregas, he's falling off a little bit, but he's getting a little bit older, but he's still a staple at the club. First player sold is Bernardi for 810k. Matteo Bernardi, different one. Loaned out for two years to Sligo Rovers over in Ireland, and he might already be the best player in Ireland. Fabio Gomez, one-year loan move to Sheffield Wednesday. Simeon Rossi sold. Zeno DeBost is joining the team from the Youth Academy, or no, not from the Youth Academy, from Tottenham Hotspurs. 4.1 million for the young center back. Very good all-around center back, so I am thinking at one point might switch the team to a playing with three at the back, so he would be perfect to fill in there. Also, you know, worst case scenario could play that defensive mid position, but just very good center back to pair with Odenthal. Larry Graham is joining the team from the free agents list on a free transfer. Backup goalkeeper, pretty good, but who really cares about a backup goalkeeper? But I do care about Alessandro Cortinibos. Bergamo Calcio, 2 million central midfielder, will, will be replacing Fabregas as he Fabregas has already regressed from a 68 to a 67 in the span of the start of the season to this transfer. Cortinavis, very good central midfielder, very good all round. Not the greatest defender, but that doesn't really matter considering the way that we play. But Youth Academy going to scout in Morocco for nine months, Algeria for nine months, and Egypt. A couple players join the team from the Youth Academy. Nothing too special. I mean, Barry might have a chance of being something. Same for Mascara, but there's nothing too crazy about any of them. Gonzalo Garrido, just a you know player could be something. Mario Martinelli might end up being something. Who knows? Lucas Gallardo has been sold to Warta Poznan, who I'm actually planning on doing a road to glory with. So depending on when you're watching this, the first episode of that might already be out. Elia D'Angelo sold to Sligo Rovers. Gonzalo Garrido, one year long move to. Polish side, and now it's time for a league fixtures we host, Salern, Salern Tana, I think that's how you say it, so yeah, starting lineup is the starting lineup that's pretty much going to be for this entire season, here are the highlights. This attack looks highly promising, who can he pick out? So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Not the pass he had in mind. A real opening now. And a goal! The quick one! Now can they make something happen? He's in with a chance. Position. He must finish! Oh, there it is! 
So we did win the game 5-4. Really entertaining game, which that's all that's all you can really ask for in these league fixtures. But DeBost did dislocate his shoulder and he's out for two months. Which is just fantastic. Got another player sold Moretti Yearlong Lone Move. The Anglis sold Martinelli. Munoz, Ramos, and Martino all going on loan moves once the transfer window opens for the rest of the year. But now it's time for a Copa Italia game as we face off against Benevento. We're going for the same lineup as always. DeBast has returned from injury for this game. Here are the highlights. We did lose this game 2-1, to one. unfortunately cup run is now officially over, but in the league we're currently in 1st place, but 5th place is 3 points behind us, 6th place 5 points behind us, so we may be in the lead but it is not safe whatsoever. Larry Graham's going to be going on loan to Fairnord for the rest of the season, and to replace him as our backup is Ralph Willems, he's literally just a downgrade but it's just one player. Mascara is going on a two-year loan move to Casapia AC. Is that in Portugal, maybe? Delacari has been sold to Basel for 1.4 mil. Ferry is going to Casapia AC as well. He's only going for a year, though. We did win Manager of the Month for our performance in February in the league. A couple of players joined the Youth Academy. Nothing too special about them either. Francisco Borges going on a year-long loan move to FC Petrolol. Don't know where that is. But at the end of the season, we did fall all the way down to 7th place. Which is really, really sad because we were in 1st. But it just means we have to rise up through the ranks. Promotion playoff quarterfinal now against Pisa. We're at their home stadium. Lamp that we're going for, we have Scaglia and DeBass starting at center backs. Tenas is our goalkeeper, Vignali and Ayanu are the outside backs. Balemo defensive mid, Baselli, Cortinavas, central midfielders, Blanco attacking mid, and Seri and Kutron up top. Here are the highlights. Feedback. Alex Blanco. Luca Vignali. Cutrone.
we won the game 7-2-5, meaning that we will be advancing to face now against Cagliari in the semifinals. First leg we drew 3-3, but Baselli did pick up a one-match ban for this upcoming game, which is a huge, huge hit to our midfield. But anything can happen, and Fabregas will be replacing him. Who else do you need than the veteran, the experienced man? He's won many, many trophies. Can he help us win this game? Here are the highlights. We did, unfortunately, lose the game 6-5. We are not getting promoted this year, but it was overall a pretty good year. I mean, Kutron's really come into his own as a, world, well, not world class, but top of the league striker, but just some unfortunate results. I mean, we have a, we have a pretty good core of players. Like, I do truly believe that just some minor improvements probably takes us over the edge. I mean, Kutron had 26 goals, Blanco had 21, Siri had 17. Goal scoring is not an issue for this club whatsoever. Even assists, I mean, Bolemo from that defensive mid position had himself 7 assists. It is not an issue of that whatsoever. No one's leaving the club due to an expiring contract. We have the full gang back together. I mean, Kutron, 78 overall. We're starting to win more games than ever. It's, I think we just need a little better luck with suspensions. Obviously losing Baselli, I think, did hurt in that game. But I think we just need a little bit more time to let players develop. Maybe bring in a star player or two. But I don't see any immediate improvement that we need to do. So I think that it's just a matter of when are we going up, not if. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. If you want to check out the first one, feel free to do so. It's on my channel. Also check out my channel for some other Road to Glories that may interest you a little bit more. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. 
and I'll see you all in the next video.